So this is the lock screen. Status bar is completely gone on the lock screen too, that the dock is actually gone. You can see my brightness is up all the way. I think it's a pretty cool trade-off. You know, you get a cool custom iPhone look. What's up everyone, this is All I Talk Is Tech, and in this video guys, I will be showing you how you can remove the dock on your iPhone and the status bar, as well as the status bar on your iPhone lock screen. Now and guys, real quick, before we get started, I just want to mention that I actually have a playlist on awesome ways you can customize your iPhone that are pretty much not seen anywhere else on YouTube. These are really cool, unique ways to get the most out of your iPhone. But on top of that, I'm going to be having a ton of videos on AirTags, so check those out as well. So if you're interested in seeing over 100 AirTag features, check out the upcoming videos, and let's get started with the video. Now, on top of this, there are a lot of cool features that do come with this, like for example, the lock screen animation does change, but in the past, I want to mention, whenever there was a remove the dock tutorial, it was pretty intrusive in the sense that if you would swipe back to your widget page, your dock would reappear, or if you were to open a certain app, the status bar would reappear, whereas this is actually a more of a unique uh, glitch to remove the status bar and the dock. You can see like I was showing off, you can get a really cool customized iPhone look. So this is probably one of the cooler dock glitches. And on top of that, um, what kind of stinks about this glitch is that you can only choose to have either the dock removed or the status bar. But, so those, those are the two tricks, but you can't have them at the same time. But I actually found another glitch that does let you have them at the same time but there is a little cost to it. Um, obviously no money, it's free, but like in terms of glitchiness, but I'll let y'all be the judge because it's actually not that bad and I will show y'all all three ways on your iPhone. So let's get started. All right, so before in the past, whenever you had an iPhone, you could change you know, the display size, reduce transparency, increase contrast, and smart invert. These were all features that could change you know how clear the dock was um, whether or not you know the background of animations and stuff like that look different um, but here's what no one has really talked about um, if you go to accessibilities and scroll down in iOS 15 you'll see there's a page called per app settings go ahead and select that now this is different than just normal settings so what you want to do is choose home screen and once you tap on home screen, what this will allow you to do is change specific features like increase contrast, smart invert, differentiate without color. It'll let you change all these features just for the home screen and the lock screen. So for example, if you decide to have bold text turned on and larger text turned on, only the home screen will have these features. Whereas if you open up the music app, the text will stay the normal size. So on a normal iPhone before iOS 15, you only had one setting that could change the text on the entire phone, whereas iOS 15 lets you specify what text size you want per app. That's why it has the name per app setting. So I just wanna explain that and how this will affect um, the look of your iPhone. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is to remove the dock and the status bar, very simple. Turn on Smart Invert. Now, Smart Invert is pretty garbage when you use it throughout the entire operating system. Smart Invert messes up colors. It was like Apple's janky dark mode. But when you have it set to only be on during the home screen, you'll see something really cool. So you will need to have a special wallpaper to do this. But let me show you all something. When you go to settings and you have Smart Invert turned on under the per app settings, what you're going to want to do now is select a black wallpaper. You could do this just by selecting a normal Apple wallpaper, but I will show you how to do more than just non-black wallpapers. This is just for this video tutorial. So you can see that the dock is actually gone. You can see my brightness is up all the way. So boom, one easy way to remove the dock. And that is simply just because I have this right here, the uh, per app settings, and I just have smart invert turned on. Now here's the next big brain trick. You can see the dock is actually genuinely gone. So you can take all your apps and just take them out like that. And ta-da, bam. Not only that guys, 
But when you change your wallpaper to something that's just black at the bottom or even a dark blue, you can't even see the dock. So it genuinely looks sick, right? So I remove the dock. That's how you do it. But how do you remove the status bar? Well, let me show y'all. So you can see um, my iPhone's back to normal. If you want to remove the status bar, all you need to do is have the same thing just flipped. You need to have the smart invert turned on specifically just for the per app settings, okay? So once you go to your uh, go to accessibilities, per app settings here, you want to have same thing we had toggled on earlier. The only difference is you just toggle dark mode and bam, status bar is gone. Now what's actually really cool about this is I will show you how to remove both the dock and the status bar at the same time, but I also want to show y'all that in certain applications, the status bar does not appear. Now, I didn't notice this all the time, but I noticed it on my other iPhone, but you will notice some instances where the status bar is gone. I also want to show y'all what it does to the lock screen. So this is the lock screen. Status bar is completely gone on the lock screen too. I think it looks super clean very like minimalistic looking um, but how do you get rid of this uh, dock well I'll be showing you two methods I will show you a method that is big brain on how to have the dock gone during the day and then have the status bar gone at night and I'll be showing you a method to actually genuinely have both gone at the same time like on this device but it is very dark so let's get started with that uh, I just need to raise the brightness and the screen's all scratched. So I made a video about dynamic wallpapers, and this means that at a certain time of day, depending if you have night mode toggled on or off, your apps will change to adjust to night mode or the daylight. So right now, my phone thinks it's daytime because of a few Siri shortcuts that I used. Um, so that way the dock will be gone during the day, but then my wallpaper will change at night you can see at nighttime my iPhone will automatically remove the status bar. Now the way you do this is you check out the video up here on how to get dynamic wallpapers and let's just say every morning at 6.15 your iPhone enters day mode and then every night at 6 o'clock your iPhone enters night mode. So that's that, but how do you remove them both at the same time? Well, pretty pretty simple trick. Here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to enable a dark wallpaper. Now this is more traditional, but it also removes the status bar, so people still don't know about this. Here's what you do. You go to your wallpaper, go to Apple's wallpapers, scroll down, and choose uh, probably this one will do. And then from here, you will notice that the dock is still here. Um, it's actually harder to see on camera, but if you want to remove the dock completely, right, if you don't want it to show at all, you got your status bar gone, you go here, then you need to go to accessibilities, display and text size, scroll down until you see reduce white point and turn this on. Once you do this, um, depending on how much you turn it up is how hard it will see the dock. And the only issue with this is this is that trick I said that comes with a cost. Your brightness will be lowered significantly, so I don't think it's worth it. But for example, if you're indoors all day or something like that, it actually does look awesome to have no dock and no status bar. I think it's a pretty cool trade-off. You know, you get a cool custom iPhone look. So, um, this can be combined with themes and things like that. So if you use its full potential, it does look awesome. Uh, but you can adjust, you know, how much white point you want to see. But you can see right now the dock is completely gone. And my status bar is gone. And that's just because I have that per app setting toggled and yeah and during this you want to make sure that dark mode is on if you turn dark mode off um, you'll get the status bar back but if you turn dark mode on you can see it's gone again so this is my least favorite one but looks the coolest least practical I figured I'd share it with y'all because someone needs to know about it so thank y'all so much for watching and as always peace